Hello guys, in 10th episode of our journey to Alps, finally we are reaching the main goal of the whole trip, Jungfraujo, the Europe highest train station, with highest post office and highest chocolate shop, and of course with breathtaking views and heartbreaking price. If you wonder how we got here through countries like Slovenia, Austria, Italy and more, check previous episodes, there are tons of useful info and of course many great places. The whole idea of this trip began in 2022 after taking our friends on Norway trip where we live to show them this magnificent country. Since 2014 when I started to ride motorcycle, alpine passes were my dream and according to saying that dreams don't come true, you make your dreams come true, we prepared this trip. So here we are in Glindenwald in Switzerland after almost 14 days of riding from Norway. Good morning. Uh, it's Sunday today because we are about to ride way up to the mountains on the Europe highest train station and we will guide you uh, what to do, where to buy tickets and uh, how this trip looks like and of course how much it costs. Here we go again, our worst enemy, walking. If you want to buy tickets, you must find the station Grindenwald and there is a sign with Jungfrau Jo. And here we are going to buy the tickets. Thank you so much. Bye. Thank you, bye. We have it. So our ticket costs uh, costed like two four hundred sixty four uh, Switzerland francs. the tickets you're getting like a passport and there are all the attractions which you can meet their way up on the mountain and on the end of it there is a certificate you can get I think some stamp that you did it so it's like a reminder nice idea I must say from this you can uh, get to know that the highest measured wind speed on the mountain here was 267 uh, km per hour. Uh, we are arriving now on our first station, but the views are already wonderful. <laughs> There is glaciers everywhere here and uh, it's much colder. We need to switch the train because that train so we rode before going here uh, to Kleine Scheidei, Scheideg and from here we are switching to Jungfraubahnen which just goes directly to the mountains and there are tons of people. After 12 minutes we are arriving at our next station, we are making a stop for 5 minutes. There is a possibility to make a picture because there is a panoramic view, toilets and help maybe if you need it. And it's much colder here. You have to be quick because we are here on Sunday and there are many many people here so you have to be quick to get to the window before them. To build this station it took 16 years. We are here. Uh, I would say that we made it but we just sit. <laughs> And 
here you can stamp your passport, this red one that I showed you before. Uh, so right now we are in the lounge and it looks like a big shopping center because shops everywhere, restaurants everywhere, so it's uh, kind of funny. <laughs> This is the highest post box in the Europe. Let's see the map, how this whole station look, looks like. And we are now here. We are here, station is here. Here, so we go like this. And right now we are about to go number two, uh, three, which is uh, Jungfrau Panorama. Then Sphinx, then out. You can go out even. As you can see, there is a uh, tons of attractions, and uh, we are planning to be here like for hours. So you need to take an elevator to go up, but there is like a huge queue. So we decided that we go further now to go to Ice Palace uh, when we are going to freeze to death. And then we are uh, about to eat something and maybe, yeah, then we are coming back here, so let's do this. by walking in few hundred meters in a ice tunnel, really ice tunnel. And now we can admire uh, ice sculptures like birds and uh, bears. bears. We are uh, freezing, really, so we are getting out of here. You see guys, people there. We are going out <laughs> right about now. <laughs> oh, it's crazy, it's crazy what's going on here. We are out and it's much warmer here than inside. <laughs> We are on the top of the Europe, if you didn't notice before. <laughs> this is the snow plateau with snow and ice. With the entrance there is uh, tons of water, so be careful. And on the other side uh, you can see the glacier river that is uh, flowing in the valley. It is great to see, uh, the first time I'm seeing something like this. And on the other side of this plateau you can see almost the place that we came from. There is a good idea to come here after Ice Palace to, to get warmer. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, so right now we are going inside and if you, Alexandra, can you show it there? There is a station there and we are about to go there. Mm -hmm. This entrance here is uh, pretty scary. Hey, do you see what they have? It's a like counter and uh, Instagram follow counter. Did you remember to subscribe to our channel and like our movies? Uh, you see, Lindt, Swiss chocolate heaven. <laughs> That's how chocolate is made. Here even the baskets are golden. <laughs> <laughs> We bought some, we paid 20 francs, but they are too good to go past. We were looking at some restaurant, but there is up, there is a, a la carte, but it's pretty expensive. So we chose to make self-service restaurant. It's just more up to us. <laughs> so no, we are not eating here, we are not so hungry. Those dishes are kind of expensive and they look uh, bad. 
<laughs> we are going up. This is the highest point that we can achieve here. We have the perfect weather. We were uh, concerned about man, maybe we can make this attraction tomorrow. So tomorrow it's gonna rain and gonna have some uh, storms. So we are very lucky. Is it, is it worth it? I think definitely yes. When we bought the tickets, we said that we are going to be here about uh, four hours, but uh, it was two and a half, and we seen uh, we have seen mostly all. So let's go down. Our route back is with cable car. So we came here by train and we're coming back with cable car, so it's great! We have just started our way down. While choosing your route, remember that cable car terminal is about 2 km away from city center, so you will have to go there or get from there as we had to. From terminal to camping it was 30 minute walk, GoPro batteries don't like cold, so right after this ride we lost power in the last one and we didn't manage to record the summary. But believe me guys, it's worth it. Maybe it's not cheap, but we have learned to always take such chances and every time when we said next time, that time didn't come. Just remember to take warmer clothes here with you, something to eat and enjoy your ride. Let me know how did you like this episode in the comments, like the video and subscribe to the channel. See you in another one. Bye!